welcome surgical oncologist who specializes in melanoma, Dr. Travis Kidner, to the show. And you did exactly what you're supposed to do, which is you addressed it early. Right. And you have had treatment? I have. Uh, I actually uh, called my old boss, who trained me how to operate on melanoma patients. And I said, uh, I have another patient for you. And fortunately, it's me. And so uh, the treatment for this is they have to excise a wide range of skin around the tumor but then also sample the lymph nodes. The problem that makes melanoma so dangerous is that it can travel through your lymph nodes and different spots in your body. And in your case, it, it did come out. It Tell us fine. about what they found. Uh, the nodes were negative, so it's a stage one cancer, very high survival. I'm gonna be okay. And wow. that's the, the, the moral of the story here is keep track of your moles, regular checkups. We have some frames up here. Let's go through these because Dr. Travis, I want you to turn back to being a doctor, because you went through this as a patient. The fact that you caught it early is why things have gone well for you. If you wait too long, that's when malignant melanoma becomes particularly deadly. So let's walk through some moles versus melanoma. So one place people tend to forget to look is on the bottom of their foot. Uh, either for mobility reasons, uh, they forget to look. And these are caught at a much later stage. This one has an irregular border. Uh, it just, it, this is malignant and, melanoma. And just the color. We yeah. know, we've seen it. You can get that in the nails. You can get it in the back of the eyes. So that, that's a great point. There's certain parts of the body that are easy to miss. Very concerning. This needed to be checked out months and months and months ago. It can also happen, like you said, under the toenail. So look there as well. So concerning mole or melanoma? So we see these a lot. I have people come in very concerned about these. But you can see it's a pretty uniform color, and the border is very smooth. This is actually a benign lesion. All right. And, and again, sometimes to the untrained eye, what looks scary may be very benign. But that's why if, it, if there's a concern, biopsy is done. It's looked at under the microscope. This is one of those lesions a lot of people look at and say, well, hmm, benign? or malignant. So these are the kind that I'll be sending by, my hairdresser saw something. They said I could get this checked out. And you can see the borders are regular, and there's two different colors, multiple colors and a regular border. This is actually a, a pretty bad melanoma. So the borders, the color, these, this is very concerning. You would always biopsy and, and that. Always. Like in your case, if it's changing if it's rapidly, changing. if it's evolving. Correct. Now, this is one that we, we see a lot. It's, it's a raised lesion. Um, and, and a lot of people have these, mole or malignant. So this one again, uh, you kind of look at the border, the border's pretty smooth, <clears throat> and it's smooth as well. And if this was staying the same over years, this would most likely be benign, which this one was. And based on the color too, even Correct. though the, the lesion that you had was a similar color right. to this. So you know, if there's any question, you need to Always. investigate. And you have to look past the ABCDEs as well. If something starts to ulcerate, starts to bleed, starts to itch, if your wife or your husband says you should get that checked out, those are all good should. indications to go get it checked Better out. Better safe than sorry. Dr. Travis, we are so glad that you had <laughs> the team you needed. And, and I just, I like saying it. I love having Dr. Dr. Travis, Travis on the show. Dr. Travis. I'm just so glad you had a good outcome and a lesson for all of us.